Hello, okay, now we're just going to go through the multiple choice for this uh, trial chemistry paper. Um, so let's have a look. All right, question one, according to Le Chatelier's principle. So if we want to dissolve more gas into solution, we have to shift the equilibrium to the right. We can do that if we decrease the heat because equilibrium will shift to counteract that to produce more heat. So um, decreasing temperature will be one. And if we increase the pressure, because there's a gas over here, we can, um, it'll want to decrease the pressure so that'll shift it to the right as well. Increase pressure and decrease temperature. And you can just think of fizzy drink. Um, and if you've ever used one of those uh, fizzy drink makers, okay, it always works best when the water's cold. All right. Next. Let's try to zoom in a bit here. Okay, how's that? When a, uh, when a reaction has reached dynamic equilibrium, that's when the forward rate is the same as the reverse rate. Okay. Um, three. Name the compound in the figure below, well, meth eth. Okay, um, now which one's one, which one's two? It's uh, alphabetical, so B before C, so one bromo, two chloro. How many position isomers? Well, let's just have a look. Meth, eth, prop, but, one, two, three, four. Okay, we've got bromine there. Um, now, where else could it go? It could only really go on the end because there's no point flipping it around because it's a mirror. So, well, there's only two possible situations because otherwise it's still the same molecule even if you turn it around. So in total, that would be two. Okay, now here we go. A central carbon atom will bond to form certain geometries um, depending on the type of bond present. Which one's which here? So for carbon, uh, just think of a diamond. Okay, that's tetrahedral, all single bonds. Um, and then you could think, well, okay, what happens if we had um, one of these as... A double bond well you would have a trigonal planar a triangular type shape flat triangle okay and a triple bond well that's linear so which one's which tetrahedral trigonal planar linear Combustion reactions are irreversible. Why is that? Um, well, in entropy tends to, okay, here it is. Entropy tends to increase because we'll look at the number of, all right, just technical issues. So um, here, where were we? Entropy tends to increase because, well, if, we, if we've got uh, more particles, um, so, uh, so that's correct. Um, I guess that A. Right, and let's have a look at the next one. What are the main intermolecular forces found in alkanes, alkenes, and alkynes? Well, 
not hydrogen bonds. Uh, they're usually uh, non-polar. Well, they're non-polar, really. Um, um, so they're talking about dispersion forces. You know, they're the ones where you get temporary dipoles. Uh, ne positive, negative, negative. That induces a negative over here. Positive. So you get the dipole attraction. D uh, temporary dispersion forces. Um, eight. Which of the following has... Uh, homologous series in order of increasing polarity um, well just from looking at these ones before alkanes are the least polar and so it's just a question now of carboxylic acids and alcohols okay so if you've got OH groups and carboxyl groups so the Oh, no, we'll do yeah, should something like that. Okay, so these form um, dimers, which is even well, this is hydrogen bonding, but you got two sets of them, so these are stronger. Um, you'll still get hydrogen bonding with this and another OH group. Okay, but here you've got more. Okay, so let's see. Um, at equilibrium. So the reaction quotient is equal to the equilibrium constant. KQ. Size of KQ does demonstrate relative amounts of reactants products. So it does, it does not, so it can't be that. Same chemical reactions have different no no. Chemical reactions have a set value of KQ at a given temperature and pressure. So um So that's not right. Different chemical reactions have different values. True. KQ. KQ is constant at any temperature for all reactions. No. So, yeah, the KQ does demonstrate relative amounts of reactants and products. It's telling us. Um, whether there's more products or more reactants. Okay, and that's going to be different for different equations or at or for a given equation at different temperatures and pressures. The table below shows the boiling points. Okay, so these have hydrogen bonding because they're alcohols. Um, so they are quite large, but um, the boiling point. But um, why why is there an increasing one here? That's because of chain length. the chain the larger the dispersion forces conjugate acid well let's have a look at an example okay plus Okay, so here H3PO4 with um, this is an acid. 
right? Because it's donating a proton. Where, what's it donating a proton to? Well, this is turning into H3O. So the conjugate base for this, this is that pair. Now, um, so in this direction, this is acts as the base because it, it's accepting that proton from the um, hydronium. Okay, so if this is here we go, the base, what's the con conjugate acid is H3PO4. Uh, can we see that? Okay. okay, now sulfuric acid. Okay, now we have to remember this is diprotic. We're told the number of moles. So concentration is the number of moles in a given volume. Now it turns out that this is two liters and that means we're going to have two times the number of moles there. So we can cancel those. So the concentration is going to be this, right? So that helps us because to find the pH is a negative log of that concentration of the hydrogen ions, um, which, well, let's put that in. So the negative log Now that's base 10. Here's the log, negative log, negative log. Um, here we go. 2.83. Here we go, 2.8. A solution of hydrochloric acid has a concentration of that. Oh, it's a POH. All right, well, POH is simply 14 minus um, pH. So all we have to do is find the negative log. Uh, now, what's the concentration here? Uh, here. So it's it's monoprotic. Okay, that doesn't make sense. Um, Oh, right, right, because it's a negative log. Okay, 11.3. Okay, so what we have here is uh, expression. So that's a react uh, products, product of the products. So KQ is equal concentration of CH4, product of the products, H2O over the product of the reactants. Now there's one thing you always have to remember is to raise it to the power of any coefficient at the front. So that would be this one. Thank you, Dirks. Consider the following. 
All right, so if we have a primary alcohol, and that gets oxidized, we did this one, um, you know, where you um, start off with an alcohol and you oxidize it. You know, the next step is for it to turn into a ketone. Oh, sorry, an aldehyde. if this is a primary echo okay and then after that you can turn it into a carboxylic acid okay so it progresses um, so the first step is an aldehyde and then carboxylic acid okay a 10 mil solution what is the concentration after dilution? Well, straight away you should be thinking um, two V two equals C one V one. Okay, now you don't have to convert this to liters. It's a little shortcut, only in this situation, because you can. Um, the milliliters cancel out. Let's have a look. So we start off with a 10 mil, 10 mil solution of 0 0.2 molar, which is then diluted to 500 milliliters. And what's the concentration? Okay, well that's um, 2 over 500, which equals 1 over 250, which is 4 thousandths. Voila. Okay, 17. The production of alcohol occurs by fermentation, distillation, correct? Alkenes can be hydrated and also we can substitute halo alkane, so all of the above. Uh, let's have a look here. KSP for zinc. So that's 1.46 times... 10 to the minus 10 is equal to so zinc carbonate is going to split up in, in like um, dissolve into a one to one relationship so we can say that's x times x which is x squared if we want to solve for that square root both sides six times oh, minus ten minus ten is it so that's 1.2 to the minus 5. Um, we've got... Alright, this information tells us here we've got the mass of the filter paper residue. So we're just going to find the mass. 2.91 minus 1.3. 1.61 mass so how many moles is that we know that's a molar mass and we have a 10 mil sample so concentration is moles over volume. 
2.013. All right, I'm just having some technical issues and running out of memory. So that's 1.3. And then the last one, the strong, straight line means strong. This is weak, and we're adding a strong base to a weak acid because that weak acid changes slowly and then we get a sudden change in pH. Okay, we're done.